Good morning, friends. Today is Friday, so happy weekend to all of you. How many of us can relate to the feeling of hopelessness and helplessness? I think all of us can think of a time in our lives or times in our life where we felt that way. And some of you may even be feeling that way this morning. When I was recording this video, I just wanted to let you know that I even prayed at that moment that whoever's hearing this video, if you're feeling hopeless or helpless, I just want to encourage you that you are not. That if you are a child of God, if you have made that commitment to walk this life with God as Lord of your life, you are never alone. The Bible tells us that he is with us always. And so that should be a reminder and a and a point of joy for us, even in spite of how bad situations can be, that he is always with us and you are not alone. So I just want to encourage you with that this morning. Our devotional this morning from New Morning Mercies with Paul Tripp reminds us that the Israelites often felt that way. They weren't really sure that God was always with them, even though God always provided a way out. There's story after story after story of the Israelites of how God proved not only his faithfulness, but his provision and his protection and the fact that he was always with the Israelites no matter what they were facing. We are just like that. God doesn't leave us. He doesn't leave us on our own. It may feel like it. This world is crazy and we've got so much going on around us and there's concerns and things that real life stresses that weigh us down that may feel hopeless and helpless. But God reminds us that he is always with us and he sees things in a big picture versus through such a small lens like you and I see things. So we have to have faith and trust in the fact that whatever God is doing, he's doing it for his glory and our good. And that should help us not feel quite so helpless and alone when things are bad. You know, God call, God's, one of name, God's names in the Bible is Emmanuel, which actually means God, God with us. And so if we have had our lives literally invaded by Emmanuel, that we live for him, we love him, and we've given our lives to him, then we're never alone. And it says specifically in that name, God with us. So today I pray that you feel Emmanuel with you, that you know that you have a God on your side to walk you through whatever is making you feel maybe hopeless and helpless. And if you're not feeling that way today, then I pray the next time that you do, you remember this, that you always have God on your side. Have a great day.